here at the final game of the EU Invitational. Um, I'm Alex. I'm Frank. Hi, everyone. And um, as expected, whereas uh, as you've seen last game, we're now bringing you the uh, final game between two Polish players, uh, Konrad Sosnowski, who just won, versus Philip uh, Zingmark from Sweden, and Jakub Irczyk, who beat Sasha Meisel from Germany um, in the semi-final. Um, Conrad is playing Scar 1 and his list is a Death Ripper and a Helldiver, a Scarlock, max unit of Bane Knights, max unit, uh, min unit of Mechanic Thralls with a Scarlock Commander, two Necrosurgeons, um, a min unit of Blood Witches with the Hag, a min unit of the Tuxus Raiders with the Sea Witch, a min unit of Soul Hunters, uh, Bane Lord Tartarus, Dalar, and the Satuxis Raider Captain. His objective is Effigy of Valor, which is irrelevant in this uh, scenario. As we're playing uh, close quarters, and Jakob, who's um, having first, no, he is having second turn, he dis he's deploying his advanced deployment. He's playing uh, his Lilith 2 list, with, um, which is pretty much a classical Lilith 2 li list. Uh, a Naga, two Ravagors, Zuriel, a Bolt Thrower, a uh, Zuccobus, a Spawning Vessel, a Gobble Crew, two Shepherds, a Forsaken, two Death Stalkers, and his object, if his totally irrelevant objective is uh, Arcane Wonder. All right, so um, just to clarify, this is the EU Invitational Final, which had 16 players competing from all over Europe, um, who clar uh, not clarified, who qualified um, at during, ev um, during various the events during yeah. the year. Um, Starting at SmogCon in January, where uh, Robin Malkish qualified, up until I think the Belgian Masters. No, up until the. German Nationals a few weeks ago where Christian Metz um, qualified. And of course the LCQ. And of course the LCQ, yeah. Which uh, Philip Zingmark um, won, yeah. who had just lost, uh, who just lost the uh, semi-final against Conrad uh, a few minutes ago. And both players, um, Conrad uh, qualified for, um, for this tournament at the Vienna Masters. Okay. Earlier this year, and Jakub qualified at Polygon, okay. which is a bigger tournament in Poland. And now the game is underway. Conrad starts the game with running his um, Satuxis into the forest. Up top, yeah. Yeah. Just to, to protect them against the Death Talkers. And the sea which runs behind the forest. Um, let's see if that presents a large enough target for Jakub to send a Revagor Skater into. Yeah. And uh, just a quick aside, um, there were other tournaments happening at uh, Clarkcon. Uh, one was a hardcore tournament, which, uh, as I'm hearing, Chris Metz. Um, one. Yeah, he won the tournament and the execution award. Okay, and then um, just a few minutes before this game started, uh, the Iron Gauntlet tournament uh, at Clarkon ended with um, Germany's uh, Niels Peschatz um, winning the whole thing with a uh, Kalissa Force Wall theme force against. If you are uh, with a double adjudicator, so congratulations to those players. And now back to this game. Um, yeah. So this car ran forward uh, behind the cover. Yep. Yeah. Which is a pretty good advantage for him, um, having um, being able to start and then having that wall there. 
uh, to run up against, protect against the feet coming at her. Tartarus yeah. goes into cover as well. Cover being the one thing uh, Isla's sight doesn't ignore, if correct, I'm correct. Yes. Yeah. Claw, would you have put your money on the North Pole or the South Pole? <laughs> oh, that was really low hanging fruit. I don't know where, uh, who is from where, but one of them is from Warsaw and the other one is from Krakow. Okay. Oh no, that's, that's, um, that's those are both in the South, right? Yeah. Yeah. The center of the South. It's Poland. They're from Poland. <laughs> So now everything is basically moving towards yeah. the clock and um and Dara is running up or moving up to be able to light calf into the wall as well. It's putting up beyond death. At turn one it might actually be better to, to just run him. There's nothing that's going to be within nine inches of Terra. Instead, just run against the wall, mate. Which he still manages to do. Yeah, so. he still reaches it, but that took a couple of seconds, and he might not have reached it. Maybe. Yeah. So, uh, from our second stream today, we know that Jakob is a really a precise player who really watches um, the movements precisely and, and uh, executes them precisely. So, uh, one of the Helldivers, oh, the only Helldiver bur uh, Burrows. Surprise! <laughs> yeah. uh, we can, will actually read the lists again since a couple of people joined us right now. <laughs> Uh, the Scar 1 list has a Death Ripper and a Helldiver, a Scarlock, a max unit of Bane Knights with Tartarus, a, max u a min unit of Mechani Thralls with two Surgeons, a and a Scarlock Commander, um, Zatixis, Zatixis Blood Witches with a Hag, a small unit of Raiders with a Sea Witch, a small unit of Soul Hunters, Dara Wraith, and the Zatixis Raider Captain. And. Um the Lilith list on the other side, just to run through it real quick, is a Naga, two Ravagors, Zuriel, a Bolt Row, a Zucubus, a Spawning Vessel, a Golabello's crew, two Shepherds, a Forsaken, and two Death Stalkers. Which is pretty much your typical, almost stereotypical Lilith 2 list. Alright, that's what that was the focus roll for the sex strike. That's two focus next turn for Scar. He's doing a thing there. Yes. What, what did he do? He put the marker under something? Yeah. Hmm. The mechanic throws are running. The um uh, Bane Knights spread out around Scar in the back. Um I think he's being careful to not put anything within uh one and a half inches of each other against the um skater shots. And he's clarifying his movement beforehand. So, will we see a turn one feed from Lilith again? What do you think? Uh, yeah, I would think so. 
because just to shave off um, yeah. a lot of points. I'm curious to see if Jakob will be able to prioritize the stitch thralls this time to deny him some recursion. Yeah. which is a running uh, we don't know what the polls were playing before yes uh, before today I have Since, no idea uh, we were playing as well and uh, we didn't really pay attention well you were playing on. I wasn't yeah but we both weren't playing paying attention yeah that's true He's taking quite a bit of time for his first turn. He's already down to 45 minutes. I mean, yeah, he has a lot of dudes running up, but um, still, that might yeah, the chicken be bad for him later. And he he passed his turn. turn. The pot is going up, and we will. It's probably gonna yeah. see a harrier or a stinger or a shredder. Yeah, kill themselves. Yeah. <laughs> so he got three corpse tokens, and that pun puts a shredder on the table. Yeah. Not a shredder, but a harrier. Yeah. So, the harrier might just charge, charge their, their uh, wraith, yeah. And see what he can do. Or we'll just put some early boxes into Scar. Yeah. He auto hits her. Why? Because his animals auto hits. Okay. You Lilith yeah. walked Lilith up into the trench and feeds. Kills the first, kills the first that exists. Right, he kills the sea witch. Yeah. So the sea witch is that which is um, takes away force barrier, right? Yes, it does. Also takes away the mini feet. Um, but might might have been really good against Surreal on that flank. He's shooting at Dera, missing. Buys another one.
Oh, and missing this Texas now. So the Death Stalkers in the trench uh, shot at some statistics as well. And uh, now the Naga is moving up into the trench, but not fully into the trench. Uh, Booster shot at Dara Wraith, misses badly. 12 still hit anyway. Se second shot hits, hits him. Oh, he's really playing fast. He put five damage into Dara. So let's see. Oh, he's shooting at the Soul Hunters with the Ravagor. <laughs> They're playing like this. Only two minutes left on the clock. Yeah. It's a really fast play. Um, Now the feet shot he puts into probably the other soul hunter. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe if Scar moved up to where the uh, to to Dara's position and feed it there, if she would have enough reach for models to um, to run just run up and um, and jam apart in the midfield. And then threat the opposing t uh, flag. Yeah. So he kills another soul hunter. Now the boat throw is moving up. Puts a shot into Dara Wraith. And a boosted, of course. No, he missed the... He needs the 13s to hit him. Yeah, he needs 13s to hit him, had a 12 and misses again. Now he's probably thinking about putting the second Ravagor onto Dara Wraith as well. Yeah. Or uh, lob some uh, scalar templates towards the mechanic thralls. I think he should prioritize De uh, Tartarus over Dara. Actually, um, Dara, I mean, he, sure he does minus two uh, damage, but mm -hmm. um, Tartarus actually is a huge threat extension and a mad buff mm -hmm. for, the, uh, for the Bane Knights. Yeah, that's true. Although um, he's far enough away fr from everything at the moment that um, no Bane Knight will reach him next turn. Unless he gives him Vengeance. Which he probably won't, yeah. Probably won't. Maybe a lucky scather deviation. Yeah.
Second attack doesn't hit Dara Wraith either. And deviates. Four inches into the three. Yeah. Yep. So he now wasted basically wasted four shots into mm. Daryl Wraith on Lilith to his feet. Yeah. And good. he's still alive. Well, <laughs> more or less alive. Um He has to put at least two more attacks into Dara. Ah uh, now the Harrier's moving yeah. in. And Just calling him Dara. Oh, he leaves him on one. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Does he uh, just have this one attack? Yeah, he can buy another one, but he has to hit the 14. Uh, hard roll a nine. Yeah. And then do damage. No, <coughs> no, we won't. <laughs> who, says I'm, who says I'm wearing any pants? All right, Zuriel is charging the Forsaken, which just ran up, ran up, and he's doing the spray attack on the Forsaken, and it's uh. not reaching Dera. Instead, he's just spraying over his Forsaken and his uh, Harrier. He uh -huh. hits the Forsaken, kills it. Puts the corpse then on the pot. Looks that was a dismal feat turn, I think. Yeah. Misses the Harrier. I mean, he's still, he's still out of range of most of the Crux army, but yeah, that was a dismal feat turn. Right, he passes turn. That was a really, really lucky <laughs> feet turn for the uh, Scar player. Yeah, um, definitely. Basically, just removed uh, two Soul Hunters and a unit of Satixis. Not too shabby, although he still has to run another another turn and weather another round of shooting. Yeah, but since um, I think the second Ravagor should have put a uh, scale template or two uh, yeah. in front of the Banes. So uh, that forest is a real, <laughs> is a, a no-go zone right now, but... Yeah, um, but there's nothing else. up there anyway. So the Soul Hunter has five boxes, so he can walk through three of the scale templates, no problem. I think we will see a counter feed from Scar, and then just another round of running. Really? Um, so you, you'll feed defensively? Yeah. He has weapon masters and he has... Uh, yeah, true. Legion beasts are... He throws, so... Yeah.
So he's keeping the focus. Wow. So he's borrowing the hell diver in if I'm not mistaken in the exact center spot of the table. Yeah, more or less. And let's see what he does here. And again, since you're playing crooks, what would you do? Feet defensively. And he's activating scar. Yeah, three feet. Yeah. So, will he stay in that place though? I would actually move Scar to where Dara is standing. Okay. Uh, to be able to put pressure on that uh, on the opponent's flag, because with speed seven, she might she should be able to reach the flag to dominate if he manages to clear it. So he feeded for five, and he is thinking of moving her back. All right, she's casting dark guidance and camping four, because she had two focus from last turn. So Conrad doing some complicated procedure of where uh, Scar can stand to make sure she's within six of a necrosurgeon. Mm -hmm. Isn't she a little bit exposed out there? Oh, I mean, yeah. He's camping four. He's at arm twenty-three right now. Okay. And necrosurgeon will heal her. Okay. That's and only then base to base contact, right? And put um, beyond death again. Okay. Put up beyond death again, so she'll be at twenty-five, effectively. Especially if he move, if he actually just um, gives Terra away and moves him up front yeah. into the beast. Sometimes I find um, I'm a bit of a reckless player, but. Um, hmm. <laughs> Sometimes I find That's putting I it mildly giving uh, giving the opponent a juicy solo to shoot to to kill uh, diverts his attention from the caster, especially he since he has <laughs> just a few points left. Yeah, he's on one point. Yeah. All right, so he's trying to move Tartarus to kill the Harrier so that Dara can move. Yeah. Yeah, with the feet, uh, Tartarus can one-shot the Harrier easily, <laughs> I think. And he made a Bane for the unit, out of a Harrier. <laughs> Only in Fantasyland. Yeah. And that Bane is going to get a charge off. Yep, he will. Well played. Now... The question is, does Lilith have Fury left? Because that Bane is in, in range of her. She's right behind that Ravagor uh, in the trench. Um, and I think he left some Fury on her. But he's charging Zuriel. In yeah, stage. he's charging Zuriel. Yeah, yeah. He's running the Banes up. <laughs> A 
okay, one of the game, uh, one of the Bane Knights is trying to charge the uh, Swamp Covers. <laughs> I guess he didn't like his face or something. Yeah. They are ugly creatures. Sort of. So the rest will just run their 10 inches up the board. Nowhere near anything. Just yeah. putting up a sea of dudes in front of uh, Scar. Yeah, all he needs is Tartarus to survive another turn to be able to curse and not lose any stitches or the surgeon. Dara surviving will also be nice, but. Yeah, it depends on what he does with him. Yeah. I think he might just put him next to the, um just move him up the wall next to the next to the bane knight there and just put beyond death again. Right, he kills the gobber. That is a moral victory. <laughs> They pass the command check like true warriors. And he Power sixty weapon master charge attack. It's dice minus three. Uh, uh, oh, that's a big hit. That's thirteen points onto Zuriel. He is presenting Dara Wraith forward with Beyond Death up, um, meaning Jakob will have to do uh, to make two attacks on Dara just to kill him. Mm -hmm. That is um, that is worth a lot in a low model count list like this. So yeah, um, as we expected, he's moving up the Necrosurgeon to heal Scar. For four points, meaning she's uh, she has two points of wounds left. No, one point. She uh, cut oh for yeah, five. she feeded for five, yeah, yeah. One point. I want to be able to feed for six. Mm. Of course eight. you would. Yeah, all right, why not? Just make a broken cast or more broken. Right, so he's moving Scar, uh, Scar's position in the middle. I'm not sure if she's within seven of any of the flags, or if he's even thinking of scenario. I think he is within seven of the lay of the bottom flag. He might be, yeah. Although, is she Pathfinder? No. Then no, he's not, because that's a. Um, not with the run, she isn't. No. Yeah. Um, All right, he's putting things forward. Um, his forsaken, um, Jacob's forsaken is gone, so there's no, no big AOE going off anywhere. And the blood wishes mini feet and run. Um, and just thread all the things.
So the Naga can put um, its animus onto, let's say, Zuriel and one of the Ravagors? No, just on one of them. No, I mean Naga and um, Lilith. No. And to be just to be able to kill the Blood Witches? Or um, he kills a couple of the Bane Knights, giving them vengeance? Or he prioritizes the Tartarus? Um, which might take Zuriel's activation just to kill the Tartarus and... Um, yeah, it's. I think it's a game of pretty uh, tough trades for Jakob. Let's see how many focus we get from the sex strike. Five points. So eleven focus for Scar next turn. We will push the uh, streams uh, of the weekend over to YouTube. Some of them are already there, and already there, even last round. Yeah. okay. So, as I'm hearing out of the background uh, from our lovely assistant Tim, that uh, all of the videos are already on YouTube on our YouTube channel, and um, this will go on YouTube as well. Uh, once we're done, you can. So the Soul Hunter got one damage point from his Gazer template. So the final set Texas Raider. It's moving between the Bane Knight and Zuriel on a run. And. Mm. Uh, Pass his turn. Yeah, Conrad passes turn with uh, 31 minutes left on the table. On the clock, uh, on the table. So now they're checking line of sight to Lilith, probably checking if she's engaged or not. Right, let's see if Surreal frenzies. Oh, he, f he does. Wow, oh, so he... Okay, so um, Zuriel frenzied and killed one of the, the last Satixis raider who just ran up there. Um, that is big. Yeah. So after the feed turn didn't turn out to. Uh, like Jakob probably hoped. Now Zuriel is gone for this turn as well, just killing the Satixis Raider. Right, Lilith is aiming, cast Zuriel's animus, animus on herself. And, and misses on a triple one. On Dara. Oh no, onto, um, onto the Bane Knight, engaging Zuriel. So she hits, she hits Surreal, does no damage. Wow, things going south really badly. Hits the, boost, decides to boost the damage roll on the Bane Knight. 
Oh, uh, Dice of Eleven because he's in Beyond Death. Oh, wow, Scar's And really Scar's bad. Feet. <laughs> oh, crap. Yeah, the bow thrower, of course, passes his special check. <laughs> yeah. So. Conrad's in a good mood. Jakub, not so much. Understandably so. Finally, the Bane Knight goes yep. from a melee attack from Ravagor. Vengeance. Vengeance is his, basically. <laughs> right. Now one of the Death Stalkers. That was, yeah, one of the Death Stalkers. Kills another Bane. Second Death Stalker. So these sniper shots are actually doing a lot of work during Scar's feed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. finally, and Horses Dara with the second Death Stalker shot since he was only sitting on one point. Um, and that is already half his army activated and not that much removed, especially Tartarus still being alive is a very big deal. Yeah, now I think um, depending on what he does with the second Ravagor and the uh that top Ravagor is in charge range of the Bane Knight easily. Yeah. The lower one as well, but he might move him away. Oh, he's got blood witches and mechanic thralls as well. Yeah, but next turn will probably be really bad for Lilith. Yeah. Alright, that's the stinger on Dara. Killing Dara. Kills Dara, yeah. So the corpse goes to the pot instead of the stitch thrall. So now that front line of Banes, well, to three or four plus Dara Wraith are gone, and he still has the bow thrower and the second Ravagor, as well as the Shepherds, I think, uh, left. Let's see what he does. Second Ravagor aims and and shoots at Scar. Yeah, boost the hit and damage. Then may activate the Shepherd to remove the Fury. <laughs> yeah, probably. He's in range of uh, Scar. Hits her. Hits her. And she's on fire. That's a good thing. Of nine on the dice, does two points, and he did four points to the uh, necrosurgeon with oh. the blast damage. That's also very lucky. Although she's on fire as well, 
Yeah. Um, There's one thing Scar does well is uh, it's burning. <laughs> so how does this work? Only, only Danny burns better. Um, so. How's the um, the chain of events? So let's say the Focus fire will be cleared. Then, then fire will be rolled. Yeah. So she will get the fire roll on no focus at all. On base arm. On base arm. Oh. Arm fifteen. That's dice of three. Okay, that can hurt. And can the really necrosurgeon. Hurt. Will most likely burn to death as well. That's bad. Yeah. And then she's one or two lucky Ravagor shots away from dying. From just randomly falling over, yeah. Yeah. So she might just move back again, uh, back behind that wall. Then again, he won't be able to remove many more banes, so they will just wreck the Ravagors, I think. Well, the thing is that uh, Tartarus can cause only one model. So, uh, so one of the Ravagors is go simply gone. Either that or Zuriel. And um, one point of damage mm. to Scarlet Commander. Yep, he did activate the Shepherd to remove the Fury. <laughs> as you do, as a little two player. So now the lone gobber is um, putting up a cloud. Yeah. And that should be turn, I think. Yeah. <laughs> All right, he has a hell diver. <laughs> okay. Jakob was uh Right, several several questions just being cleared between the players right now. Um what happens first, vengeance yeah. or the borrower or, or the, the, the hell diver? Is there no judge at the table? Norward sitting right there. Alright, he does vengeance first. So Josh clarified that vengeance actually happens as one unit, so they have to move and then all of them have to attack. Okay. <laughs> Jakob joking that he's now playing vengeance for correct for the first time. Um. All right. So we will have two attacks on the Harrier, uh, on the Stinger. Yeah, which maybe should. one more, although that looks a little far out. Yeah, it's too far. And if they both hit, that should take care of the yeah. Stinger. And then there's uh, six, seven, 
Seven Bane Knights in charge range of various Legion Beasts. One of the Vengeance Attacks hits. Yep. Yeah, one shots the Stinger and... Uh, <laughs> and he goes back in the... In the pot, yeah. Josh clarified that they have to do continuous effects first now. <laughs> Fire on the surgeon goes out, but that's good. Uh, she can heal Scar. And Fire on Scar. Does not go out, it dies off three. Alright, they're deciding to re-roll the cock die. <laughs> on a flat surface. Yep, she's still on fire. Minus three. And she takes a point of damage and she will get repaired by the necrosurgeon. Now the health diver is coming out. And this time the Helldiver might actually become active and slam something. Yeah. I, we we can't see... Part or something. Yeah. Uh, let me just go out and check something real quick. So I just had a look at the table. Um, Lilith is standing behind in the trench behind two of the Death Stalkers, who are standing base to base. So the uh, Hell Diver has no uh, charge lane towards her, and she's camping to Fury. Um, so let's see what he does now. Scar moves. Where does she go? She wants to be away from Lilith. She's moving forward though. Scar wants to be able to sort of see the Naga and he's sex striking with uh, put seven points into the Naga
Okay, camping six. Putting up dark guidance and uh <laughs> 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 All right, so they're clarifying the sex of the Ravagor. So the blue Ravagor, uh, big update ladies and gentlemen. Blue Ravagor is the male Ravagor and the white Ravagor is the Lady Ravagor. Alright, the green proxy base un uh, under the Naga is now Tartarus charging the Ravagor. And he's probably thrashering. Yeah. He gets both Death Stalkers, I think. And a Pot Lady. Or he's stuttering on five models. Yeah, he hits all five models. Yeah. And he's gonna make two or three banes. Uh, this is gonna be a bad turn for Lilith. The thing is that Scar always just can randomly fall over from from Lilith's shooting. He's she's camping six uh, yeah. armor twenty one. Naga gets another 8 damage and should be on like 6 or 7 left, I think. And adds 3 more Bane Knights to the unit. Yeah, and he did curse the Ravagor. Yeah, so that Naga will go, the Ravagor will go. Zuriel might go, because he t already took 15. Yeah, Zuriel might be going as well and then we'll see what the mechanic throws and the blood witches can do with the female Ravagor yeah just dump him anywhere doesn't matter he's gonna charge yeah, yeah one charge on Zuriel charge on the Ravagor. Um, he might send one into the pot. Nope. No charges on the pot. Puts three yeah. three banes into the Ravagor. I don't think he has any more space to fit him. To fit another one. Although yeah and one into the Naga. Oh, there's one more here. Yeah. Another one into the Ravagor. Another one into Zuriel and... And the one in the field, in the middle, might actually make it to the Ravagor as well. Uh, I don't think so. So no more... Yeah, they run. No more into the Naga. costing you a lot of time though yeah he's still below 20 minutes uh, already be below 20 minutes doesn't do any damage on the first hit but he's puts another nine points 
into the into Zuriel and leaves him on 59.24. Very little. Should be a four to six boxes left on Zuriel. And he has a Soul Hunter that can charge in as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He put one into the Naga, killed the Naga. Yeah. And now it's three or four attacks on the Ravagor. Putting 11 damage on the first hit. Uh, second guy hits. And. Kills the Ravagor, has two more attacks to redirect, probably onto the pot. Now he's killing the pot ladies. Yeah, yeah the soul yeah. hunter is charging Zuriel. Um, but he won't be in range of uh, Dark Guidance. He doesn't need it with Mat 8, he mm. needs Force to hit. Okay. On yeah, the, that's on true. Gun to Cavalry Charge. So the Soul Hunter is charging Zuriel. Yeah, so Zuriel was sitting on six, took five more, and has one more left. Uh, dies of eight. Hmm. Oh, Jakob was thinking he took one point, but uh, he only has one left. He yeah. did no damage on the second attack. He has the mount attack left to do. Uh, and to miss, yeah. <laughs> okay, so there's not a lot left in the army. Not a lot of time on Conrad's clock either. Yeah, Jakob already has a 20 minute lead on time. Yeah. But and uh, yes. doesn't have a lot of models to activate anymore, so yeah, and it's huge attrition f uh, advantage for yeah. uh, Conrad at the moment. Although as soon as uh, as the heavies are gone, um, Conrad can play really quick turns. So he's running his blood witches. They're charging the blob, uh, the bolt thrower to tie him up mostly. They probably won't kill him. Yeah, he just basically gets one charge off yeah. on the bolt thrower. It's about 12 charge on armor 16, so just a couple of points. Uh, is she base power 10? Yeah. Okay. And she's putting up, uh, he's putting up uh, clouds, I think. No. Oh, she, he's making mechanic throws. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <coughs> ah, just <laughs> barely hit. misses. Hits the second one and kills it, collects a corpse. I need to remember to do that. Yeah. So 
So he's not. Oh, he's, he forgot his bow thrower attacks, which he has to do now. Seven boxes into the board thrower. For uh, he puts eleven points, which uh, basically cuts the um, board thrower in half, and um, now he's putting some more uh, mechanic thralls out. Yeah. Which are probably just going to charge the Ravagor. I think he's only, go on, only getting two charges off because the Scather template is going to... No, it's not a Scather template, it's a, uh, it's a Cloud oh, it's Walk. A, it's a Garbo Cloud, yeah. It's a Garbo Cloud, yeah. Alright. So he's sending the Scarlet Commander into the bow throw because he can't see the Ravagor. And two charges on the Ravagor, the rest runs. Two guys. So much time. Yeah, two guys who are just running. Trying to kill the Gobber. Hits and kills the Gobber. And. Yeah. Combo strikes the Ravagor. Right. Puts eight points into the Ravagor. And the second guy is not in Scar's control. And, and misses. misses. Now the Scarlet Commander goes for the boat thrower. Puts another seven boxes into the boat thrower, which cuts him down to four, I think. Uh, Rid sack for four points next turn. And the Helldiver, what's he gonna do? Uh, he could have he could have put give it, given him one focus to charge Zuriel, instead he's blocking the charge range now. Although he's giving him a very easy slam. But he doesn't have any focus. Hmm. Yeah. Conrad asking himself how he can lose this game. Um, yeah, I think not putting the Hellfire in front of Scar is a good is a good play. The score is right now zero zero, but the clock is really uh, Jakob's, tilted. Yeah, Jakob's uh, cutting himself for one. That was a frenzy of a turn. <laughs> he removed so much. Yes, power 12s. So he did not activate the Necrosurgeon behind Scar and did not heal her. And then he has two Necrosurgeons, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he uh, forgot okay. the second one. That's possible, yeah. Alright, Lilith activates and just starts killing random dudes. Oh, 
and he's putting shots into Scar. So let's see if he can kill her. Claude, it's Alex and Frank on the commentary. How are you doing? Five points into Scar. No. One. No damage. The dice keep coming up cocked, so they have to reroll them. Yeah, roll the triple six on the attack roll. Yeah. Oh! Oh, that's a good damage roll. That's five points in Scar. But he doesn't have any shots left with uh, Lilith. Zuriel's on one box. The Ravagor's tied up. Yeah. No, Sasha is actually playing, s still playing a game. He's playing for third place, I think. <laughs> Alright, well, Conrad still has to win this game. Um, if he goes full camp and maybe tries to dominate the flag. There's nothing uh. that can really contest it. If he removes Surreal and the pot. Um, yeah, but then he's just... Um, no, the thing is... Uh, um, Lilith is standing in a trench without any fury on her. Yeah. And Tartarus, Tartarus is... Curse, yeah. And And makes a fresh little pain. Yeah. That's just. Um... Okay, so the boat thrower now trying to clear maybe the Ravagor for another shot and get a lucky shot on Scar and killing her. Mm. He has a shepherd there and he can make another lesser. Yeah. But I don't think he can place the, le the lesser anywhere um, where it gets a charge lane on uh, Scar. No, but I mean to clear her, to clear up the Ravagor though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> then again, he has 31 minutes left figuring this out. Because if he can't kill her now, and it looks like he's actually trying to go for it no matter yeah. what, yeah. if he can't kill her now, Lilith is just dead. So he just checked line of sight and he has it to Scar. If he clears up the Ravagor, um, from the two mechanic rolls. Yeah. So the shepherd is trying to kill the furthest mechanic throw. <laughs> right. Kills the mechanic so throw kills and. One. and So, no, oh yeah. Oh, the pot lady, yeah. Misses. Oh so now the pot crap. has to bring out the stinger has reached, doesn't he? Yep. Yeah, so the stinger has to go in, I think. Or he might just use a Harrier and, and see if... Yeah, he's... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, the Harrier killed... 
the last my guy throw yeah. and now it's the Ravagor's turn yeah he can see past past the Scarlet Commander he can easily draw a line of sight yeah that's not even a question He needs nines to hit. Uh, it's hits barely. <laughs> oh. Two ah, points into Scar. It's two points into Scar. And that's, yeah. That and she's on be. fire, though. She already is on fire. Yeah, Necrosurgeon dies. The Zuriel kills the Soul Hunter. And that's turn, and now 10 minutes to kill Lilith. So that's uh, Dark Guidance for extra dice, Curse on Tartarus, and he's uh, Mat 9, needing 7s on 3 dice. She Scar has is 5, points, five points, yeah. That is five points after taking fire shots, uh, fire damage. Diver dives in. Uh, Scar activates. Didn't he? Didn't he kill any Bane Knights? So uh, he doesn't I don't think he did. No. Uh, okay. All right. So that's a sex strike uh, plus two to damage, and he one shots her with a sex strike from Bay Knight. Wow! Wow! That's it. All right, Conrad wins the Invitational Final by <laughs> rolling a uh, fifteen on a sex strike <laughs> against Lilith in, Lilith in the trench. Okay. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Yeah. Um, throughout the whole weekend. Uh, Find us on Facebook, find us on YouTube, find us on Twitter. Please 